Part three pH, has it been 15 minutes already? I, I feel like I just talked to you. Here we are 15 minutes later, we're checking in with our four test tubes at different pH values. Let's check. Now they've been in the water bath for 15 minutes. You saw that some of them actually changed before they even were in the hot water bath. This is test tube A. We of course have our catechol and our tyrosinase. We also have hydrochloric acid. This is at pH one. I'm seeing no change. It looks clear to me. pH one. Make sure to record this on your data sheet. Pause the video if you need. I'll see you in a second. If not, come with me. Test tube B, we're looking at pH four. It's lactic acid. It has a light yellow tint, but really not much going on there. Maybe a little light yellow. Use your key to decide what that is. You could say colorless or light yellow. I'm seeing light yellow. Again, that's pH four. Oh yeah. Isn't that lovely? There we are at pH seven, our distilled water. This has the most color change. It's, it's like a pinkish, copperish color. It's actually a really nice color. We'll look at all four test tubes in just a second. This is pH seven with distilled water. Throw it on your data sheet. Isn't that nice? Last one, test tube D. We're looking at the tyrosinase, your catechol, and sodium carbonate, pH nine. I see it as light yellow. I'm seeing some color change. Again, we're at pH nine, and I'm seeing light yellow. Let's take a look at all four. pH, uh, test tube A on the left, the one all the way to the left, that would be pH one. The second one, pH four. Third test tube, test tube C, pH seven. Fourth test tube, pH nine with sodium carbonate. I can't believe it, we're done with part three. Make sure you record all your observations in your data sheet. I'll see you in part four, see you there.